that Doug Hyatt is an, a most unusual defense attorney. And I know there's some people in this room that are saying, yes, that's right. Right now they're saying that because he's helped a lot of people in this room. Doug is um, the author, the main author of this petition, 1149. Doug Hyatt is one of the very few attorneys I've met since those times who believe so strongly in, in the movement that he is part of, that he represents so many people, that he can't stand to wear anything but that shirt. He goes to business meetings, he goes to places where he should have a tie and a white shirt on, but he wears the shirt. So, you know, without any further ado, let's give a big round of applause for Doug Hyatt. everybody out tonight. I'm, I wish I had good news uh, this evening on any front to tell you. I wish I had something positive to say. Uh, good news on the horizon, something to look forward to, a new medical marijuana law that got passed to protect people and increase access and stuff like that. But none of that stuff happened. No good things happened in the legislative session, only bad things. And we are many steps backwards from where we were just a year ago today. We're going to have to fight to just get back to where we were. And over here on the east side of the mountains in Spokane, and here in Stevens County, oddly enough, is where I think the battleground is going to be very, very, very soon. Um, the, US, the new U.S. attorney out here on your side of the mountains has decided that it's a good idea to raid medical marijuana patients. You can ask Mr. Blake and his uh, lovely wife about that experience. Um, they are raiding patients. They are trying to ruin people's lives. They have raided seven. Um, they have shut down all the dispensaries in Spokane. They've cut down the access for all the patients, cancer patients that are sick, other people that have neuromuscular disorders, sick and dying people now have no access to medicine. And that's because these guys feel like they're doing their job and they feel proud to be doing their job. They think they're doing the right thing. It's only you guys that are standing between us and a complete police state in this country now. The Supreme Court decided Kentucky versus King. You might have seen that. I thought it would be front page banner headline news that the police can now kick in your door because they smell pot. They smell marijuana. They can kick in your door. No search warrant necessary. No detached review by a neutral magistrate. No more Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment to the Constitution is gone when the police can kick in your door over the smell of pot. They don't even have to smell pot. All they have to do is say they do and they can kick in your door. There is no shelter anywhere now. The front line is here. It's right here. It's right here. The front line is right here, and all of you are on it. We've got to keep making those sacrifices, and we've got to get more people involved. We've got to get all of our friends. We've got to let everybody know, yo, this is an emergency. This is the Constitution going down the drain. I know one true thing, and that one true thing is we can do it together. We cannot do it alone but we can do it together. You can do it. That is one true thing. This song came about because I, uh, one, had never written a love song that was really just like how in love I was with this girl. And the other one was that I'd never written one of those 60 songs that are double entendre about drugs. So I wanted to correct that. And I come up with a love song. Yeah, we're 
I can't say why. Mary Jane makes me feel I. I love Mary Jane. Mary Sue will not do. Mary Martha, not my partner.